Hi guys, how are you? I am back with another video. Welcome back to the Lee Lee Leah Afia channel. Um, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I'm recording a random one tonight. I need my tea for this because whoo, what an evening it's been. Let me try, I need a sip of tea, hold on. So this evening, while I was minding my own little tiny business, I have quite a few messages come up on my phone and I had um, some phone calls like, Leah, you need to go onto YouTube. Have you seen what's going on? So I'm like, what's going on? Now everyone's talking about um, Nikita, the famous, well, the well-known YouTuber who has just released a video about why she broke up with Terrell, or Terrell, however you say his name who is also a well-known YouTuber. Now, I'm new to YouTube, and I'm not gonna lie, before I actually started on YouTube, I wasn't into, um, like, YouTubers. I was more into health videos, watching a bit of Breakfast Club, that was my thing. So I had seen um, Terrell and Nikita, but I'd never really taken any, like, paid any attention. They'll come up on my Instagram, because they'd be doing, like, skits and different videos and whatnot. So yeah, obviously my friends are into YouTube so I got to hear about the whole Little Mix saga. We already get into that. And you know, they did look all like those men in love, you know, he was her king, she was his queen, you know, that's very much in love. Now apparently they were together for like, what, 10 months to a year. No one's really sure, but they said about over a, like a year. So I find it really amazing that, um, I find it really amazing that such a big deal is actually being made about this. It made me log on. I really want to know what the tea was. Except for, we didn't really find out anything, to be honest. I didn't really answer what anything that anyone really wanted to know. I mean, she said some things, but she didn't really say much either now i haven't got nothing against nikita i haven't got nothing against tara i don't know them personally so this video is just my commentary on what i've seen tonight because the first thing i got called and i got told leah like did you know he was outside her window with a gun now i was like what i need to go and see this video so i logged on quickly watched a nine minute 35 second video and I was like, that is not what she said. Now, I'm a big believer that if you don't feel like you're being treated right in a relationship, you need to leave. That's first and foremost. If you feel like you're being disrespected in any way, you need to get out of there. However, I am a big believer in the two sides of the story. And we've only heard one. Now, I know Terrell had, Terrell had mentioned that he was going to release his video soon. It was meant to be last weekend, now it's at this weekend. Now, I can't wait for that video to come out because I'm wondering, is he going to like respond to certain things she said now? Like, now I am proper invested in this. Before, I didn't care, but now I am proper invested. I really want to know what the tea is, what the deal. I do know it's real people's lives we're talking about, which is why I'm making this video because I'm a bit, like, shocked at, you know, some things that happen. But I do really want to know what he's about to say in that vid is he gonna go in is it gonna stay chill we just all don't know but um yeah like she was very sad in her video but i just want to talk about what she said in it because i'm a bit confused about a few things first of all a lot of people said that you know the she played a voice recording of what he left on her phone like a voice message or whatnot he left on her phone saying that he was really mentally abusive. Now, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm nearly 30, but I've I've been I've broken up with some guys in my lifetime, and that's what happens when you break up with a guy. They get salty, they get moody. Oh, you're never gonna find no one better than me. Trust me, you lost out on a good one. They all say that. Now, if that's like a manipulation, it is manipulation. I'm not gonna lie, it's manipulation, but it's something we can all handle, you know. He didn't call her out her name. He didn't curse her out. He, well, he just said like, oh, you took a man for a dickhead. He did say that. He was saying stuff like that. But that's just normal for a London guy 
who's from South London to say something like that. So I didn't really feel like that was mentally abusive. Now, she did say that he was abusive in their relationship, but she never said that he was physically abusive. She said he's, she's seen him be violent, but it didn't mean the fight. I'm not saying violence is right, but she it was never made clear whether the violence was to her or not. And I don't think it was, because otherwise she would have been very explicit to say, yeah, he's been violent towards me. And she never said that. She said she's seen violence. Now, you know, it's a guy from, you know, South London, you know, it's from the hood, but I think Angel Town. I mean, you might see him rough, rough up somebody, I don't know. But yeah, like, people are making it seem like she, in her videos, she said that he beat her up, he had her locked up, you know, with a bowl in the basement. And that's not the case. It seems like to me, she's gone through a lot more of an emotional hurt for him. You know, she trusted him, she seemed like she believed in him, she thought it was gonna last. And it wasn't that case. I think she wanted to be, be the king she thought he was. Like, so you know, when he didn't turn up to check up on her when her gram, you know, passed away and her mum was sick. I mean, I'd be really upset by that too. Like, if your man's really there for you, he should be by your side when you're going through your things, he should be by your side. Facts. There's just nothing more to it. He should, there's no excuses unless he, he's going through his own things and he's told you that. He's just still trying to make an effort as far as I'm concerned. Like, there's just no need for that. I'd be really, to be honest, that would, might be the few of my last few straws as well. Like, sorry, son, you want to like lie down with me? You want me to, you want us to be making skits and videos and kikiing, but when I really need you, you're not going to be there for me? Like, for real. However, I do feel like, again, no offense, Nikita, but I do feel like she's using his past and his, you know, current experiences to really help deliver a real damaging image of Terrell. We all know about Little Mix, the fact that he slapped down the Leanne girl, you know, and I don't ever condone any man hitting a woman. He should have just walked away from that argument. But then, just the fact, I don't understand why she mentioned the fact that she has nightmares that he's gonna come with a gun, you know, and um, outside her window. Like, did you really need to say that? Like, has he done that before? Has he just lurked outside your window with a gun at a window, knocking on your window, like, Nikki, you let me in? Like, why Like, why did she really need to say that? I feel like this plays into the, the narrative that it's some um, ex-convict from Brixton, obviously a roadman, obviously done bad things in his past, but is he really, like, Nikki, like, do you really feel like he's gonna do that? Because if he is, I mean, shit, like, and he could, and he could do it, I don't know. But I don't feel like he, you re she really feels that way. I think she's just saying a lot of damaging things that she knows going to hurt him because obviously this hacker good person, whoever that person is, has slid in the DMs, in his DMs, and found out that, you know, yeah, he was out in these streets talking to other women, which happens. Like, she's not the only one that happens to. It happens to a lot of women. And she had the feeling that he was doing it and it confirmed that. Now, she said that she is only responding to, you know, people leaving comments on her pages and stuff and whatnot. But is she doing this because, or she didn't want the comments to stop? Or is she doing it because she finally got confirmation that he cheated on her or, you know, done some disrespectful things that talked to other women on her and now she wants to kind of get him back by, you know, putting that last nail in Tara's coffin. You know, that last nail, because let's be honest, that Leanne, Leanne thing was very damaging. He did try to flip it on the, um, you know, on the other side, you know, with the jobless t-shirts and stuff like that. I mean, okay, that's cool making uh, a negative, you know, situation. I don't know if it's cool, but it's, 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 it's a way of to do it, to make a negative situation to a positive one. Um, I think he should have been a bit more apologetic, to be honest. I don't. I think he should. Have, I don't think that was a good PR move on his behalf. I think he should have just owned up to what he did and just kept it moving, and then done his job with t-shirts and whatnot. But um, yeah, like I'm just really confused as anyone. I want everyone to give me the tea. Like, what really is going on? I'm a bit confused by what I saw. I mean, there's a lot of people that are upset by what they saw they feel like Nikita is lying I feel like I don't think she's lying I think she might be you know embe like not embellishing but she might be you know act adding a little extra salt on the wounds and on her story just to make it a bit more dramatic so you can really understand her pain and she wants Terrell to feel some kind of way about it too 
but if she is if she's if he is as you know not crazy but if he has got the issues she said he's well i hope he gets out because that's serious and i don't think any woman should have to go through that like if a woman's rode for you she's rode hard for you i feel like you should do the same and it's just not fair it's just not right but it does make you wonder like how much should people really share about their life on youtube should should you be should like because look at the that's my worry like if i if i done all these based bay kind of stories and it doesn't work out i mean my god it can get really nasty like it's getting nasty now but you know what like i'm not gonna lie this whole saga like i know i'm taking like it's entertainment but it's not it's people, real people's lives but it just goes to show you that we need to stop idolizing relationships we know nothing about people always only show you this is forget youtube just generally in life people never show you the full picture they show you half a picture of their life even your friends even your family you're never going to know the full truth about a situation it's just when you know when you find out the truth you might not even find out the full truth when shit goes wrong and they can't stand the person then you find out he did this he did that she did this she did that you never know you don't know anything so we need to stop looking at people like they're perfect and we can't be shocked when these things happen to be honest you just don't know so stop like believing everything you see is don't, and think is fact because we don't know like because as my friend kindly pointed out to me apparently they had gone on like three holidays for the year and just before they you know someone had kind of noticed that oh they haven't really been you know seeing each other lately everything seemed fine like on youtube world but in, clearly in reality everything was not okay it's, it's a very public relationship i'm pretty sure they've never done such a public relationship before in their lives and all they can do is both learn from it and you know maybe she might, might want to hold back a bit more in the future maybe he might want to hold back a bit, a bit more but i'm pretty sure both of them have both benefited from that relationship they both made money from it they both made good money from it and you know built a good following and so it's not all lost but i'm not gonna lie guys i really want to know what is terrell gonna bring out is he gonna come hard in the paint and give deliver some tea or is he gonna just keep it storm but i can't lie twitter's on fire tonight with these um these these statuses though these statuses these comments is all it's all going on tonight mate even the flipping memes are, they've got going on it's crazy i'm just quite amazed by the phenomenon that is tara nikita and the fact that in what she filmed this video about what a couple of hours ago and it's got so many views and everyone's talking about it. my phone's plinged tonight like have you seen it i got sent a link several times I've, I've been made to have discussions about it tonight so i thought i'd bring a discussion to youtube shit i'm in the youtube world i might as well talk about it too but yeah let's see let's see what happens but i do think it's sad and whether we feel like she's edited the video to make her something more sad i do think she's sad about breaking up i think every time you break up with someone you know you're hurt but then i equal i equally think that terrell's heartbroken too i don't know what he's done but i think he's heartbroken too and it didn't seem to me like when the voice message actually played out like he was abusing her he was just saying no he just felt a bit salty telling her you know babes I'm the best you ever had like a beyonce song you know like yeah you know i'm gonna get better no one better than me but good luck for trying yeah i've heard that before i'm so uh, all right mate we'll see i'm waiting to see terrell's side of the story and then i think i'll make a bit more of a concrete judgment but i do think there's two sides of stories and people need to actually listen to what she said because at the end of the day people are just jumping to mad conclusions he, he taps outside the window with a gun you know in the window that's not what she said she said she's scared that he might she never said that he beat her up. She said she's seen him be violent. She's seen it. Not that he's done it to her. She's seen it being done, maybe to other people. But it's like, okay, she said she's done protecting him. And I get that. But, oh, like, what? And if you know this, his past, and you, you've been through things, why expose it now? I feel like sometimes, Cause she didn't really she didn't really say much on that video she kind of we still don't really know why she broke up she said some 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 factors as to why they did break up but she never really said what the final straw was and i think i want to know what the final straw was too but what was the straw that broke the camel's back i need to know i want to know 
because she didn't really say anything and if you're saying you're giving us an answer tell us what we want to know girl what what did he do do we need to be out there with me tomorrow in t-shirt saying Terrell leave her the damn alone like Terrell you tried it do you need to be to, um Terrell you tried it t-shirts like really like what should we be doing oh we want to know girl so we can support you properly because i'm here for sisterhood i'm not about to hear be that like you know this and an next woman for her story but you know as a, a woman who's got brothers and i know there's always two sides to the story i really want to hear terrell's and i'm just saying i'm tuned in i'm letting you guys all know i'm tuned in Moan, no i know this thing yes sir you know what i mean but i hope she heals i hope he heals i hope he's able to move on and you know have a flourishing youtube career and i hope well i know she's gonna move on and have a flourishing youtube career without a doubt but you know this is like a chris brown and rihanna situation guys like do you know what i mean chris brown got the bad side of the story and he finally spoke about his story where he said he he did say that rihanna Done dash few licks his way before he boxed her down. Like, I'm sorry, if you're from the Caribbean and you know how you know that she done dash some licks before he done her anything. So I thought to myself, when Chris came up with that story, I was like, babes, we already knew the play, we already knew she got a few dust in her head, you know, and then you decide you couldn't take it and was he spazzed out. No, we already knew the story, you didn't need to explain yourself, you know. It's a bit like you're like five years too late. Now I don't want no one to come up five years later telling us why she really broke up. Just tell us now, boo. Just get over and done with. Just tell us now. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie, this is not the kind of video I normally make, but I'm just way too intrigued now. Like, it really drew me in. I was just really intrigued. So, yeah, wanna know your comments, guys, and um, I'll see you soon. Mwah. Do see, subscribe, like, and comment, guys. Okay, bye.